What I like about hallucinogens, I guess is the same reason, I remember, and correct me if I'm wrong about this, you might know the story, Steve Jobs said, I don't want to hire anybody who hasn't tried LSD. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and, and I think that there's something to be said about, because the reason I, I find it interesting is that, you know, if a drug just like caffeine, for example, just gets me wired up, I'm still cognitive and I'm still Francis, you know, I'm still the same dude. And I'm still looking at things in the round of myself and I'm looking around the world and, you know, a chair is a chair and everything's the same. It's just like, I'm just more pepped up or more amped up. And apparently cocaine does that to you too. Um, and, you know, so what to me, I find interesting if a drug can actually alter your perspective and put you in a different body or in a different mindset or just view the world differently, whether it's physically differently, that chair is no longer a chair. It looks like a, you know, some sort of sculpture or something <laughs> or, or conversely, it changes your perspective. And that's exactly what happened to me at Burning Man. I suddenly had amount of empathy that I never had in my entire life. And I was just astounded by how empathic I was. I feel, felt everything on everybody around me. And I truly cared to a level of knowledge that I felt like a bleeding heart liberal for once in my life. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is how it must feel that everything gives you pain if you see pain or, you know, really caring passionately about what other people thought or, you know, or feeling at the moment. And I thought to myself, wow, this is clearly just chemicals in my brain. So therefore I'm capable in theory of having that level of empathy. And I really enjoyed to some extent that experience. Obviously there's downsides to being so empathic. You can really suffer when other people are suffering, but still, so, and that, all that is to say is that I, that's why I like hallucinogens and, and uh, because I think they transform your mind and at least give you a peek of what could be. Agreed. I, you know, I think sometimes the experience and obviously mushrooms are different than, than LSD slightly, although they're both hallucinogens um, as two examples. But I think staying in that state obviously is too too overwhelming. I think the goal is, or should be as a therapeutic, should be to go into that state, and then when you come back out of it, you know, you have that. Uh, it's like the trace trace elements of that still still there in in the sense that, you know, you you feel more um, in, empathy for people in general, but it's not overwhelming. You know, you feel more connected to people. Um, and you feel more responsible for the welfare and, and how your actions and you just realize everything's sort of connected. We're really all here in this together. And most of the time, uh, what we bicker about amongst one another and use to divide us really is, is not that important in the grand scheme of things.